This is a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina 2015 um, trackpad cable replacement. You'd do this if you had no trackpad functionality or and no keyboard and normally both at the same time. So first we need to disconnect this battery. So there's an adhesive pad sticker that you pull off first. And then you've got your battery connector right here. Now you've got to flip it kind of up and it'll come back like so. Move it out of the way. Now you've got two torque screws here. For that you use a T5 screwdriver. And then just take off this little shield. From there you've got a connector and you open in the same similar way that of your battery levering on both sides. And you can pull it all the way up to the end of the battery here. Now, this I guess would be the hardest part of it, even though it's quite simple. You, there's just a little tab here you lift out of the way. And then from there you can see a flip connector. You get your spudger and you put it underneath the flip connector and you just pop it up. And there it's just sitting up. Now, it's important when you remove this cable from here that you don't just yank it out. You need to push it towards the battery with this and you see it pull out. And then you've got it like that. So from here, you would have had a straight connector. This is the new part. But what I do is I bend it in exactly the same way as the part that I removed. And there's also a foam tab on there that I took off before, but you can put it onto your new part, vice versa. And on that end, you can bend that one in the exact same way. It just definitely makes it a lot easier. And on the underside, you can see that there's an adhesive strip. If you have some double-sided 3M tape, it's a good idea to run it on the back here, and you'll see why later. Other than that, there is a little tab here, but... It's not that easy to get off. If you can get it off and put it in the exact same place, then that would be good. So from here, with the new part, you kind of kink it on a upward angle and going into it, and then just slide it in. You can see it'll go in and there's two tabs on either side that and they look, that looks in enough to me. That's about as much as it needs to do. And then you just flip down that connector and that side's done. Now you can run the adhesive down and you get to this connector. Connect that one. And maybe now's the best time to put the adhesive. You put your shield back on. Your torque screws. And you seat your okay, battery back down. Just line it up so it looks straight and then just push it down. Clip it in. Put your sticker back on. And that's it. If you turn it back on, the function of your trackpad and your keyboard should have returned. Thank you.